Hey guys, welcome back. This is part number six of the Tappery store. Uh, I spread a little bit of filler on the front and back here. We need to sand it down and maybe do a little bit more touching up and just sand inside here and stuff and get it ready. And then we're gonna put it in the booth and we're gonna get primer on it. And then hoping tomorrow sometime I can get this all painted black. Um, like I said, we're not gonna paint the front panel, but we're gonna paint everything else. Um, Hopefully we'll get a painted tomorrow black so that Sunday it can go down into the basement. Let me uh, show you here what I got going on. I had two staple holes I put at the bottom and the front. So I put a little bit of filler in there just to make them smooth. I'm gonna sand most of that off. Um, in the back here, I filled in up top with the coat where the chips were from cutting it. And then some spots along the back here and down at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the sander going and we'll get these spots sanded down, see if we need to do a second coat on them, and then we can get the cabinet blown out, vacuumed off, and get it into the booth. All right, I'm gonna start sanding the top here. Alright, I gotta grab another piece of sandpaper. 
But um, I'm sanding these edges here on the inside because they were swelled up a little bit. So when you go to put the back door on, I don't want them rubbing on this and chipping it all off. So they were a little bit swelled up. The paper was peeling a little bit and there was some excessive uh, paint from when somebody had painted the back of this cabinet. So I'm gonna sand the rest of this lip down here and I'm gonna put another coat of filler on anything that is a little bit low. There's a couple spots. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. Um, and I think then we'll be ready to, I gotta sand a little bit in the front and then we'll be ready to clean it up. All right, I'm back. I put a little bit more filler on a few spots in the back. Um, let's go around the front. And we'll get around the monitor and stuff sanded. Um, I also have a little sanding block here with 120 grit on it. And I want to get some of these spots. I can't get my sander in with it. So let me sand these spots down. Up. And I have to mix up a little bit more filler. I forgot there's some nicks here where somebody had put some screws and I have a couple staples I need to fill in. stick some filler up on these staples and old screw holes. Just almost ready for primer. Uh, the paint job on this cabinet is really easy. It's just satin black and I use a single stage paint so there's no clear coat to put on or anything like that. Just a single stage satin black and the only areas that really, really matter are a little bit in the front here because everything else gets covered with artwork. But I do want to make sure that the cabinet is painted and smooth so that the artwork goes on well. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I think I got all the spots I need to fill in here. A little bit chipped up here I'll fill in. The better you prep it, the better you do the body work on it, the better your game's gonna look in the end. So, all right, I'm gonna let that dry. And then I'm just gonna sand this, the rest of this in the back off camera. And then I'll be back, we'll get it blown off, um, get it vacuumed out and get it in the spray booth. 
Um, we're going to tape off the front lower panel. We'll tape that off because I don't want to get paint on that. Other than that, the rest of the cabinet, we're just going to leave it open because most of the inside is painted black anyways. All right, we're going to get it blown out here. I think you can get wheeled into the spray booth. Tape off the front. Look, we got snow. All right, the only thing I'm gonna tape off is that front panel. That's all we need to do. I'm gonna get the heat going in here because it's currently 49 degrees in here. So we'll turn the heat on and while they, it's warming up, we'll get that front taped off. All right, I'm gonna put some paper on the back side of the opening for the point door first.
primer is mixing up. Um, we're going to put three coats on the cabinet. Um, the reason why I want to put three coats on is because that particle board is pretty porous and rough. It's not really rough, but it's porous. So three coats should fill it in nicely. And then uh, we'll do two or three coats of paint on it tomorrow. Um, that should be more than enough because the sides and front are all fully covered with artwork. We're just trying to smooth the cabinet out so that when we put the artwork on the cabinet, you don't see rough wood behind the artwork because that will definitely happen if you don't have a nice smooth cabinet. Um, this is a urethane primer. And then uh, I'm choosing, like I said earlier, I'm going to use a single stage urethane paint. Um, this is all automotive paint. Not Sherwin Williams house paint or anything like that. You can use that. You just got to make sure you don't use a latex paint. You use, uh, I don't know if it's called an acrylic. I think it's called an acrylic paint that they sell now. Um, and just use a foam roller and roll it real smooth. Put a couple coats on. You can sand between the coats uh, to smooth it out. Um, you can even sand the last coat you know, with like 600 grit of sandpaper and then wipe it down real good with a uh, spray away glass cleaner in the aerosol can um, to wipe all the, you know, the paint from wet sanding it. And then you can apply your artwork right to that. Then you'll have a nice smooth surface and it'll look nice underneath your artwork. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up. Um, this is a four to one to a half primer. Um, we're going to mix up quite a bit because I'm going to get three coats on that cabinet. So I'll probably start with 20 ounces of primer, 5 ounces of hardener, and then some reducer. Okay, let's get the first coat of primer on. What I'm going to do is just put the first coat on the sides and on the inside around the monitor only. I'm only going to put one coat on the top.
stop right now. ready for the second coat um if you guys look here closely you can see like a nick there and a little bit here so what i'll do tomorrow is after i put these three coats on tonight tomorrow before i sand i'm gonna take a little bit of filler and fill those in and then i'll sand the cabinet down and then we'll paint it i'm not worried about putting more primer on the cabinet like i said because it is getting fully covered with vinyl so I'm going to go grab my primer and we'll get the second coat on.
we're about 90 degrees. A little bit on the hot side. 80, 85 is a little bit better to spray in, but this isn't going to hurt anything. It's nothing really too important to worry about. Uh, and after I'm done with my last coat, I'll let it sit with the fans going for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to bake it at probably about 120 to 130 for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not worried about it because we did it with the journey cabinet, and none of the wood warped, so um, I think we'll be good to go. I'll obviously keep an eye on it just in case, but baking the primer will be able to let me sand it tomorrow and get it painted so that we can get it in the basement on Sunday. We'll probably bring it in the basement Saturday afternoon, but I'll probably just let it set overnight and bring it in the basement on Sunday. So I'm going to go get my gun and get ready for the last coat. I have a full gun mixed up and I still have a little bit left in the cup. So what I'll probably do is hit the sides and everywhere else. And if I have a little bit left, I'll probably just go on the sides real quickly just to get rid of it.
2K high build primer, automotive primer. Um, you can get it from Summit Racing. Um, it's cheap. Uh, you can do it at home in your garage, set up with a little fan to blow outside. Um, if you have some heat, if not, do it in the springtime or summer when you have more, you know, when it's warmer outside. That's garbage. Let that uh, sit and it'll dry out. I'm gonna put this gun in the gun washing cabinet real quick, and then I'll show you what those liners look like. Okay, that's washing. So what it is, is just these real thin liners. If I can get them apart. And what happens is, is it goes inside this cup. This cup has a hole in the bottom. So when you put this in there, and you put your lid on it, these lids have a strainer in them. So you do not have to strain your paint before you pour it in the cup, because this lid will take care of it. Now, when you spray filler primer like that, you want to rip this screen out and use a filter strainer to strainer it into here because the filler primer clogs up this strainer in here and it won't work. So once you put your liner in here and you put your lid on it and your locking ring goes on it, um, you have to turn it upside down. And what you'll see happen is because this hole's here, it literally sucks the liner and it'll suck it all the air out of it until it's pure paint. And the good thing about using these when you paint is you can turn that gun every which way and it's always gonna have paint coming out of it because of the way it's sucked down. Um, if you turn it sideways, like on a regular cup that goes on top of a gravity feed gun, if you turn it sideways and you don't have a lot of paint in there, it'll quit spraying because the paint level is lower than the port. With this, it keeps sucking that bag down more and more, so it keeps forcing the paint out. So, just figured I'd show you guys that. I know most of you guys are probably not painters, but um, for those who are and haven't used one of these systems, it's a really good system to use. It's really not that much more expensive. And the nice thing is, is if you have any extra material, let's say you had a little extra paint left in there, there's just a tiny bit of primer left in here. If you just leave this sit open, it'll dry and then you can throw it away. But let's say you're putting base coat on your cabinet and you have extra and you need to paint other parts. You can put this cap on there and it'll stay good in there as long as it doesn't have a hardener. If it has a hardener, then you have to throw it away. So other than that, guys, that's gonna wrap up part six of Capper. I'm gonna let that dry overnight. And tomorrow we will sand it down and get it painted black. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys are liking everything, please, if you could like and subscribe, that would be awesome. You guys have a good weekend.